Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be uh, creating our Realm Persistent Initializer. So we can use that uh, later on to uh, pass it as an environment object uh, from our app initializer. So we're going to basically pass that from here, just like we do in Core Data Case for SwiftUI. And uh, uh, we're going to also create our uh, entity uh, class. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I'm going to do is create a new group. We're going to call this group realm db. And uh, this is going to have a file that we're going to create in this file. So I just press command N to open new file dialog. And uh, we're going to select a Swift file. And I'm going to call this file realm persistent initializer okay so this is basically gonna initialize the persistence uh, you could have called like you know persistence controller or anything like that but anyways this is gonna work for us um, we're gonna import realm swift okay and we're gonna create a class realm persistent static funk initializer and this is going to return realm to us now we're going to create a do cry do do try catch not do cry um, okay um, and uh, we're gonna create a realm we're gonna say try realm so this is what we were talking about when we create a default realm it actually uh, we just have to call uh, realm and this right here creates a realm database in a documents um, directory for your ios app uh, with the name the file name is default.realm okay um, now if there's any error we want to actually throw that error because uh, we don't want to this is a grocery app and it needs a persistence so basically if you fail to open a realm that's actually pretty bad uh, that it can't so I'm gonna throw a fatal error uh, fail to open realm error is error dot localize description okay now uh, we're gonna add another group right here and this group is gonna be for models we're gonna create our model here and uh, now we're gonna create our entity okay so i'm gonna this time select right click add new file so once again select file template and we're gonna call this one shopping item db okay this is gonna add another uh, file right here uh, under models and uh, we're gonna import realm swift okay now uh, we're gonna inherit for some from something called object now objects basically object is a base class for all realm data models so we're gonna use that shopping item db inheriting from object now next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a list of properties that will save that will be saved in the database okay so let's talk about this line uh, so each property um, in realm uh, has at object c dynamic keyword this makes them accessible at the runtime via dynamic dispatch realm uses this uh, swift and objective c feature to basically create a facade between reading and writing data so when accessing a property swift delegates uh, to realm um, the responsibility of providing you the desired 
data. That's why all of our properties are gonna have add opt C dynamic var. Okay, gonna create a title. Notes. Quantity. We're going to default it to one. Bot. It's going to be false. So if we have already bought that item, uh, initially that is going to be uh, no. Okay. Now, uh, this is important. Uh, make sure you override the primary key. So we're going to simply return ID as the primary key. Now, overriding primary key uh, tells Realm which property in this model class is going to be used as the primary key for this model. And um, this is basically used to infor enforce the uniqueness as well as uh, it's basically, uh, it makes your fetches and update operation more performant. Um, now, because Realm is a cross-platform natured database, uh, Realm only supports limited set of uh, platform independent types. Okay, so these some of these types are basically, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Boolean, integer, double, float, string, date, and data. Okay, so these are the types that you have to actually stick to. And if you notice, like, you know, we have used a few of them, like we have used integer um, right here and right here. We have used string and Boolean. Okay, but you can, you have like, you know, other options too. Um, uh, like, but options are like, you know, limited. Um, so just core data has a few more extra, but the realm is it's not because of the cross-platform nature. Now, optional uh, properties have a special restriction. So you may declare string date data as optional. For the rest of the others, uh, you have to use a wrapper class called realm optional. Otherwise, you must provide a value. Okay. All right, so that actually uh, wraps up our model uh, creation for the realm object. Now, uh, what we basically need uh, for all these objects is basically a, an e enum key because uh, what's gonna happen when we're gonna start referencing these objects, um, these objects are these names of the properties are gonna be referenced in string, uh, which is like really hard to type. So what I uh, like to do is basically for any such scenarios, I create some keys. So let's create an enum with keys. So db keys, I'm gonna call this file. And this file is going to basically simply contain an enum, which is gonna be shopping item db keys, okay? And this is going to be um, basically of type string. And we're going to have case ID, case title, case notes, case bot. case quantity okay so these are um, basically the keys that we have created and if you look at your uh, object uh, properties you can notice that they are actually same ID title notes quantity and bot uh, ID title notes um, quantity and bot okay in the right order there we go all right so this is basically gonna help us in future whenever we want to reference these uh basically these 
uh, properties or keys um, within our properties within the realm database we don't have to actually pass a hard-coded string we can actually reference these keys that makes it makes our program a little bit more error proof okay all right so uh, with that actually i think uh, it's close to a wrap for this uh, video in the next video we're going to continue creating our uh, persistent store so we're going to create a store and uh, that uh, store is basically going to be access point for all of our uh, realm related stuff um, and uh, it, and in that store uh, like during that video we will also create a model that's going to be the model representation equivalent to what you have in the database representation so this one is going to have a model representation which is going to be used uh, throughout the file so we can uh, keep our uh, database uh, uh, stuff like you know uh, contained away from the main business logic so our model is going to be uh, converted into um, into realm database uh, uh, object before persisting that actually gives us flexibility if you ever wanna change this uh, uh, persistent store from realm to uh, core data we can actually do that all right so this is it <clears throat> this is it for this video uh, and I will see you guys in next video thank you